Hi, this is your daily Jesus is coming face. <laughs> and be ready because it's coming very, very soon. If you're not part of the channel, subscribe, like this video, share this video. If you want to send us visions or dreams, uh, there's an email in the description box. Just click on it, go underneath it. We have Facebook there, Telegram. We share a lot of news articles that you definitely can't share here. And pretty soon, we won't be able to share nothing here when it comes to Jesus. It's already happening. It's already got to where in a mall in the United States, you can't wear a Jesus shirt. And people think the Great Revival's coming. No. The only Great Revival left is going to be in the Tribulation. Where people's going to realize they screwed up. They didn't read their Bible. They didn't know their Bible. They wasn't ready for Jesus to come. That's going to be the last great revival. It has nothing to do with any church now. They've already had their great revivals. That went on in the 70s, 80s, and 90s where they made bukus of money. And instead of helping people, they decided to buy three or four $25 million jets apiece. Or build mansions with nothing but gold. Instead of buying a Bible for everyone in Africa and Sudan and places like that, they decided to build themselves a bathroom with a, a 14 karat gold sink. So the Great Revival's already had. They've already had their chance. They failed miserably. This is the end. It's too late for that. Now, if you're lost out there, call upon Jesus in the last days. Say, Jesus, come to me. I don't want to go to hell. I want to go to heaven. If you call upon him right now, he'll come and say, and if you believe that he died upon the cross for your sins, he did all the work, there's no works can get you into heaven. And the people who tell you there is, they will not be leaving here. Because <laughs> I don't care what you've done, I don't care what you, it will never outdo what Jesus did. And the people who say that it's works, that's what they're saying. That what Jesus did on the cross did nothing. I'm sorry. If you just tell the truth, people who say it's works, believes that what Jesus did wasn't good enough. God help them. That's all I can say. Because I'm telling you, he did all the work. And if you believe that and have faith that Jesus rose up on the third day, you're rapture ready and you're ready to get out of here because the time is ticking. Things in Israel with Iran and Russia and all these places are going to explode. There is no peace. God's already showed me there is no peace coming. These events are only going to get worse. Peace has already been taken off this earth. It's not coming. These people are so corrupt that they will not abide by peace ever again. That Them days are over. All only thing now can be is the end of the world. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it's got to be because we're now in the last days and everything has to happen. There's no praying it off. These are the last days. And if you're not ready, you're going to be left here. I mean, this is serious, people. And if people are not going to believe me, I don't care. They're going to be left here just like they wasn't knowing. They're going to drown. I mean, that's, that's up to them. All my job is is to try to save the ones that will listen. And that's the only ones I care about. The rest of them, they're going to be stuck here. Because they'd rather go to their sports games and drown in the flood when it comes. Except this time it won't be water. It'll be fire. And when this fire comes and they see it coming from the sky, they're going to have heart attacks. They're going to do away with themselves. And God says, this is coming soon. That the sky is going to turn to fire. There are some horrible events coming. And man has never seen these events before. And they're going to panic. But God's tried to warn them. He's done everything for them. Just like the Bible is free for everybody to open up in America. And they're just too lazy to open it. They don't want to know him. That's why I tell everybody, open a Bible, read it once or uh, an hour or two a day. I mean, people just have time for everything but God. And they expect God to say, well, let's, let's wait another week. Because, uh, I mean, these people, uh, it drives me insane. I'm like, why? Why should he do anything for him? The world don't want him. They've kicked him out of everything. And you don't think the end of the world is now? There is transvestites teaching the church on the west side of America. And you think a great revival is coming? I tell you what's coming. It's the wrath of God upon this earth. And it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the days are numbered. 
And if you don't see it, you're going to go to hell. And you're going to burn there for eternity if you don't turn yourself around. You're out of time. There is no future for America. There's no future for the world. There's no saving the planet. It's coming to an end. That's what God put me on here to tell you, to be ready for it, that he's coming to get the church. They're going to be out here. Then a seven-year tribulation is going to start, which is Jacob's trouble. And most of the world will be destroyed in the seven years. There won't be much of a left. If you think that 2030 and all this stuff's coming, you're an idiot because it's not coming. God's warning those who will hear it that the end of the world is coming now. There's going to be people that's going to go to work still ignoring God up until that day. You can't convince them. You can't wake them up. They're so in love with the world. Half of them go to church. They're still in love with the world. Still won't see it until the world starts to fall down. They won't believe it. They won't wake up just like they did not do it in Noah's time either. Don't be one of those. Stay awake. This come in from Raymond. It says, I had a dream last night about being left behind in the rapture. It's not the first uh, time, though. It's just that now I understand it. I'm not sure how the dream started off, but I remember sitting in a room. Out of nowhere, the sky turned a weird color, and I just felt the em uh, emphasis, emptiness, and heaviness. I had a feeling what it was, as I wanted to make sure if I was just... Uh, just uh, I can't remember the word here. So I went to look uh, for my parents and my nieces, all gone. I couldn't find any one of them. And then I knew. I cried and prayed and repented. But I felt nothing. The Holy Spirit had has risen and I was left behind. My only thoughts were, what can I do next? I need to really live now for God, even without the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will still be here. It will not be completely gone. I need to praise Him and repent daily and share the gospel with others. I refuse to succumb to my temptations. I'm thinking it's too late. It's just uh, just harder now because I have to uh, bear my own cross. And that's true. In the tribulation, it's not that you're, you, you'll just have to do everything on your own. Then it will be works in the tribulation. I found nothing but heaviness on my chest and could literally feel the doorway to God and the Holy Spirit gone. And the Holy Spirit will not be gone. It just won't be here like it was because the church is gone. It won't be as strong. I uh, see. So I wonder, do you get a second chance after the rapture? Yes, you do, during the tribulation. Or is this the, the day right here, right now, and the only chance to glorify God and allow it in His presence? I don't want to be scared, uh, scared little boy in my recent dream, God's calling. Well, Raymond, for one thing, a ton of people is going to be saved in the tribulation. Tons of them. And a lot of them will lose their heads. They will sacrifice themselves to spread the gospel. So yeah, there's going to be a great revival. And trust me, if you're watching this video right now and the world is gone, and the world could be gone tomorrow, and if this video was not scrubbed, and you're left here, and God came, He's got us out of here, and you're still here, and you see this video, understand, the most important thing is to not take the mark. Because all in the tribulation is the mark. It's not now. People keep saying it's now. These the jabs is just ignorance. They don't know the Bible. Whew, let me get started on that again. But literally, the mark of the beast. The only way you'll know it's the mark of the beast because you they give you a choice. They have to give you a choice. Jesus or the Antichrist. If you choose Jesus, you get your head cut off. That's the mark of the beast. There is no mark of the beast going on right now. If they would actually open their Bible and read it, they would know this. But they'd rather be ignorant and lazy and never open their Bible and believe what? Buck Buggy Bob on YouTube's telling them. Because that makes sense. I don't want to read the Bible and learn it from God. But I'll listen to Tim Buck Bobby over here on YouTube. He sure knows his thing. God help us all in these last days. God come and get us. If you don't hear or see from me again, I'll see you in heaven.